Mr. Enjoy the Money. They know what that is. I couldn't put the government on there. I wanted to put Pressure 1K on there, but I got it before then. I had it before the rap shit. But it's unique, I feel like. Don't nobody in the city. You got no work like it. I got it from a private jeweler in Houston. I can't get a jeweler name, though. I don't want y'all ice looking like mine. The only credit card chain that I've known about is the nigga from Detroit. I'm trying to think of the nigga. I know who you talking about. The nigga hey, this shit big. For real? Yeah. This shit bigger? Yeah, I mean, this shit like right. This shit come like right here. What's the nigga name? It's all gold. Self made too. cash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, bad, bad, bad. This shit heavy, too. This is my first piece of jewelry. I got a 2 millimeter tennis chain. They SI2, they ain't VS. And I went and got the custom pendant. It's SI2, too. And then I went ahead and shopped in Nashville. Went and got some VS1 earrings from Solitaire. These are my second pieces. I'm finna go get the bust down nose ring next. Just to make niggas mad. A lot of people, they think SI ain't real diamonds or something, but you know, that's the clarity. It really matter about the color of the stone. You go to Icebox in Atlanta, they selling SI stones, you feel me? But deep, like these VS1, these SI2, but this is harder. So you gotta know about the color of the stone. So know what y'all buying. You could be getting VVS, but if the color of the stone ain't good, it ain't gonna hit like this. So make sure y'all getting a good getting a good price on what y'all really buying. When I was growing up, I always wanted a chain, you feel me? Like I looked up. I'm slick older than a lot of these niggas. I looked at Soldier Boy and shit. I used to see the big chains, and you look at Gucci, got Quavo on them. They all got the ice on. I, I feel like that nigga with the ice on. So when I finally got the opportunity to go get it, after I got my shit taken care of, I went and got the ice. And when you put it on your neck for the first time, that's when I was pressure for real. When I go out a lot, a lot of times I go to the club, lights off, you got them little strobes hitting. It's going to hit. And. A lot of the men don't want to say nothing, but they women gonna say something about it. They gonna comment on it. They gonna ask me what that mean, where I get it, all this, try to grab it, try to catch it. But guess what? It is what it is. Everywhere I go, people ask me, is it real? Is it real? Is it real? If you don't know, you need to follow me on Instagram. I got a highlight when I hit it with the diamond test. If they really want to know, they think I wouldn't be wearing it every day if it was real. It would have started tarnished, wouldn't it? I jump in the swimming pool right now with it, put a water bottle on it, ain't nothing gonna happen. I went and put my money in the right shit, real rocks. I actually got it from a private jeweler in Houston, and I actually hit him in the DM. I, I ain't had time to go to Houston, you feel me? I'm working and shit, I'm making music, I ain't got time to take no trip to Houston right now. I ain't got time, so I hit him in the DM with my general idea and what my price range, you feel me, was. And he hit me back and he was like, this is what he could do. You know, we collabed through it, came up with this, he sent it out about month and a half later i got it and it's been like this ever since the most common question i get is do you swipe do you really do that do you do you know what that car I mean i mean you feel me i ain't gonna say too much but i put diamonds on my car don't ask me for cash next piece i'm getting for show i'm getting the 1k under this i gotta get the 1k and i'm gonna get it with the dripping letters i'm actually trying to go to one of these big established jewelers for that i'm trying to Trying to save up, tap in with Johnny Dang. If not, I'm trying to go to Icebox, you know. Eliante something. Y'all support my music, I'm going to Eliante putting the pressure 1K on one piece. It's all up to y'all, really. Like, once it gets to that point, it's gonna, probably going to be a while because I got to see a lot of money before I decide, like, all right, man, I'm going to put my that shit should on be hard. You know what sleep I stop. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that, bro. For sure. Sure. For that shit going to be hard. How you think? How you the think? brand. Yeah. You can get it for a better price than you think, though. A lot of these niggas be capping on their jewelry prices. That shit don't be as much as you think. Would you rock a What Sleep TV chain? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you put me on. You put them rocks on there. I rock it. Right to air show. And when they ask me what it's about, I'm going to let them know for real. Next piece I actually want, if I can't get the 1K, I want the Rolex. But anybody, if y'all know, if y'all really buy jewelry or study jewelry, y'all know the ticket on it. So I ain't really just been in no rush to ice out the wrist. Cause you know, the AP, the Paddocks, the Richard Mill, you looking to spend over 20. Even I still got people to take care of in the family. So when it gets to that point, I'm, I'm definitely going to put some boogers in my watch. You like, you looking at any specific model, like any specific watch, which one? If I get the chance, I'm getting a squat, Sky Dweller Rolly and I'm flooding it out through the face. I'm going to Icebox. And I'm going to spend about 45 for everybody that was hating on me. I remember y'all. I'm putting it in your face. Now let's talk about the tattoos, though. What, 
I'm showing tattoos. Ah, uh, yeah. I started getting tattoos when I was like 18. This was actually my first tattoo. It says, A River Dirty. A lot of y'all don't know. I'm half Italian. That means goodbye in Italian. And I got Luke, my name, my uncle name. He passed away in 2012. So I actually had to get goodbye for him. And I got the time he died. All my tattoos mean something for me. I went and got my mama name following that. Angela, she the most important woman in my life. Got to stay with her heaven. When got Isaiah 4110 for my people to actually go to church. Mm -hmm. I take, I'm a very spiritual person. I take pride in all that. And then I went and got my boy Cap. <laughs> all this BLM going on, I've been had this. So I hope y'all really know what it is. It's a movement going on. It's one of my idols. He meant a lot to me growing up. He gave me inspiration to be who I am today. If I blow up, I think I'm gonna blow up. I'm going to stamp the 1K right here on the neck. Ink on my body, I'm gonna hit my neck up. I'm gonna do the whole neck and my whole chest. But for sure, the chest getting hit, I'm gonna tap my chest within the next following months. But y'all get me to 250K, I'm gonna do the whole neck piece just for y'all.